Today, in this video, I'm about to talk about something very, very difficult. The Halo rocket launcher in Infinite has been broken for a very, very long time. And this is my call for 343 Industries to finally fix it now that they have brought back the legendary god of Halo, Jason Staton. I urge Industries to take a look at this and fix it promptly. It affects the core gameplay of Halo and the fundamental sandbox of the game. Ever since Halo 1, the rocket launcher functioned like this. You shoot and the big bullet goes in a straight direction until it hits a target. But then... With Halo 2, in year 2005, when Bungie launched the new Halo Xbox, they brought a much welcome addition to the sandbox. The sandbox that's like a colorful piñata, where you can pick up any candy you want. Remember that? I digress. The rocket launcher in Halo 2 was changed to be the predecessor to the Spartan laser. It had a lock-on system installed in its scope that helped it guide the rockets to its target. But ever since the launch of Halo 3, where that technology was removed, fans from all over the world has been begging 343 and Microsoft to add it back in. So my question is, where is it and where has it gone? Frankly, I don't know, but I find this to be very disturbing. Why should a core feature like the rocket launcher be gone for so long? Halo Infinite was the perfect moment to bring that feature back as Halo Infinite is supposed to be a faithful reboot of the original series of Halo games. I'm sorry this is a short video but it had to be made. The rocket launcher has had this problem ever since Halo 3 and should be on top of the list of priorities, especially considering it's been so long. Remember to leave a like if you agree and maybe in the near future we will see a return to the glory days of locked on rocket launcher. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you tomorrow with another daily Halo video.